Thrive is a choice and an attitude. And the ability to thrive is deeply connected with the actions and choices that we make every single day. Join me so that we can talk about it some more. Hi, I'm Gael Burwani. My passion and ambition in life is to just help change agents like yourself find the authentic, harmonious balance that they want in their life so that they can achieve everything they want to achieve in their corporations, in their businesses, in their, with their families, in their communities. And today we're going to talk about thriving. Previously, we had talked about uh, setting your goals and ambitions uh, for your life and your vision. And then we talked about uh, turning your whiny voice into a winny one. And today we're going to talk about thriving, how you can thrive in your life and achieve everything that you want. First thing to do is to revisit your goals. I know, I know, I know. We keep going back to the goals and the, and the, and the, and the, and the ambitions that we, we had set for ourselves. So if your goal is to achieve $100,000, multiply it by 10. And with the circumstances that we're going with through right now, multiply that by 100. Okay? So instead of targeting 100,000, target, don't target a million target 10 million. And the reason why is that it actually takes about the same amount of effort to get 100,000 as it does 10 million. Uh, guess what? Your mind doesn't know the difference. Not really. So what happens is that all I want is really to live comfortably is $100,000. Wonderful. If I don't achieve it and I short, fall short, then I'm falling short of being comfortable. But if I fall short of 10 million, guess what? I have a lot of room to be comfortable. And that's fine. As long as I'm comfortable and I'm happy, that's fine. So targeting the 10 million helps keep me motivated. And guess what? Even if I don't achieve it, I'm still happy. Step number two, go back through the efforts that you're making. Remember when you worked on your plans on how to achieve your goals and how you achieve your vision. So what I do is I build my plan around the 10 million, not the 100,000, the 10 million, and I look at how much effort I need to do and make to achieve that 10 million. And I multiply that by 10 again. That, that's the 10x rule, um, basically by um, Grant Cardone. Uh, but beyond that, I'm not going to be able to do 10 sessions immediately or have, you know, 10 classes immediately or 100 classes immediately so that I can get generate the income that I'm looking at. So what do I do in the meantime? Well, I focus on improving myself 1% every day. Yep, only 1%. So if I am achieving a dollar today, then I focus on achieving one dollar and one cent tomorrow. And by the end of it, hopefully, if I improve myself by one percent every day, by the end of the year, I will have reached 37 times. I would have been 37 times better at the end of the year than I am today. Again, even if I fall short, so for example, I take a couple of days off, well, not a couple of days, the weekends off and, you know, I take some time off, then at least I am, the minimum I will be is 10 times better at the end of the year than I am today. Minimum. Because I've been focusing my attention on that 1% imp incremental improvement every day. So that's the point. Step number three, focus on the journey. Focus on the process. 
don't focus on the results that you want. I've set the 10 million as a target, well and good. What do I do before that? Okay, I've already set my targets on what I'm going to do and what I'm, so I just focus on the process. That helps me stay grounded and it helps me and it helps you stay positive. I can't change the past. I can learn from it. I can uh, take the lessons from that and move it forward. I can't control the results that are gonna come. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but I do know what I can focus on right now, which is my journey, my process. It helps keep that positive impact going. It keeps you grounded, it keeps you happy. And that way, you can also go to the next step, which is practicing mindfulness. When I say mindfulness, a lot of people turn around and like, oh God, no. It just means enjoying the moment that you're in. So, need, if need be, switch off, tune off, switch off all the electronics that you have and focus your attention on yourself and the simplicity that you're in. When you're having a meal, focus your attention on the meal. Focus your attention on the person that you're having the meal with. And enjoy that moment. You know, enjoy the smells that come from the food, the, the taste, the texture. And when you're taking a walk, just marvel at the simplicity of movement, how each step comes naturally after another. That's it. It's that simple task of just staying centered in that moment. That will also help you release the expectations and focus on the journey that you're on. Step number five is practicing gratitude. Be grateful for what you have. So I can't go out. Yes, I'm lucky not to have to worry about a lot of things that a lot of people are worrying about this time. Yes, I am indoors. I'm safe indoors. I am not troubled by some torturous individual coming over and torturing me while I'm imprisoned. I'm still safe. I'm still happy. I'm surrounded by the people I care about. And even if I'm not, I've got the technology to be able to connect with them. So focus on what you're grateful for. Focus on the positives. Guess what? Opportunities and success actually do come to the people who are more positive because they're looking for the positive and they're looking for the good. So they see the opportunities and seize them. If you need any help with that, just let me know. And finally, dump the to-do list. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 just dump it. Take in the trash and throw it. Uh, 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 excuse me, Raya, are you serious? You're telling me to dump the to-do list? Yes, dump the to-do list. It is a waste of your time and waste of your effort. What you do is you end up with something like 200 things on your to-do list that never get done because, and, they, and you always feel unaccomplished because you don't know, you know, you haven't done this and you haven't done that. And it's just a constant reminder of everything that you need to do. Change that into an accomplishment list. And when I say an accomplishment list, I mean an accomplishment list. What are the three things that if I complete them today or this week or this month that I will feel accomplished? I will feel like I have made a difference in my life and the life of those around me if, I, if that's my focus. So what three things, and when I say three, I mean three things will make me feel fulfilled. What make me feel like I've accomplished and I've achieved something. Yeah, I know. It does not eliminate all the other things that are on the list that I have to do. So, have a dump list. <laughs> and that's what I do. 
every time I get a reminder, because this brain is working over time, of all the other things that I need to do, I just dump it. I have a little list that I dump it in. So then that way it's off my mind on that paper. It doesn't mean that I don't do it. I, I, I don't, I mean, shopping is important. I still have to go get some food and I have to get the groceries and I have to remember to get my daughter's Cocoa Pops. Okay, otherwise my life is torture. Okay, so I just put it on the dump it list. I'll get to it once I've done my accomplishment list. I hope you found it useful and if you have please like subscribe if you want some more information like this and share it with your friends if you want and uh, see you soon bye bye